Dude, you have an old ass fucking Toyota. The fuck is this? The Toyota 1934 X400 comes with four seats and one window. It's got like cardboard inside on the windows. What the fuck kind of Toyota is this? Anybody know what Toyota this is? It's like a fucking minivan with a goddamn huge bumper. Jesus Christ, that bumper could like kill somebody. I want to put a hitch on my bike. That'd be cool. Have like a hitch. So if someone rear ends you, it like destroys the radiator. Woo! Lance! Toast cheese, gold cheese, Captain Whoppers, salted peanuts. Just kidding. Those are probably all nasty. Actually, just kidding. That toast shit, cheese shit, it's actually pretty good. It's only 99% fucking manufactured or fucking processed or whatever the shit it's called. Okay, anyways, um, so I wanted to talk about, oh, World War II. Oh, look, motorcycle. I don't know what kind of bike he had, but it was a motorcycle! Alright, so I wanted to talk about, uh, what happened in my store the other day, um, where I work. Um, we got, uh, I got a dude arrested. Um, you know, I did a topic on panhandling a while, while back, uh, not too long ago, but this topic on panhandling, basically what I thought about it. Um, so there's this guy that, uh, comes into my store, but he doesn't even come into the store. He just stands in front of the door. Um, and I'm like, I'm like half security at my, uh, oh shit, my high beams haven't been on. Naughty, naughty. They're on now. Ow, fuck. Um. So I'm like half security person thing, in a way, I guess. You could call me that. Well, I do it, but. So he, uh, is always in front of the door asking for money. And, uh, Yummy to the Rescue always has to come to the door and tell him to leave the property. So, uh, this was probably about a couple weeks ago. This happened, like, a couple days ago, but this couple, uh, a couple weeks ago, it was like his 15th time being here. And I told him, if you come on this property again, because we got pl complaints for this, and you know, it goes on us. So I told him, uh, you know, there's no problem sitting here, but if you come here and ask for money again, you're gone. I'm calling the cops, and you're not, I'm not even gonna let you know I called the cops. And you're just gonna get taken away. So uh, obviously he thought I was, you know, stick fucking him, or, you know, just kidding with him. What he didn't understand by that, but so he comes back, and my manager sees him. Well, we don't make eye contact because usually when you make eye contact, he leaves. So we call the cops. So the cop shows up, and this dude comes in our store like he never comes in the store and starts walking really fast to the back. <laughs> so as he's coming in, the cop was like, Get back here! and uh, he got there, and um. The cop was like, I can have him arrested, even though we didn't have a barring notice, he was told multiple times to leave. So, uh, the cop was like, get your hands behind your back, and was like, <laughs> put the handcuffs on. He was like, I'm getting arrested? No, I'm getting, I'm getting arrested! I'm getting arrested! It was pretty funny. It's a weird fucking Toyota. But, uh, I wanted to bring up the topic that, has anyone ever had anyone arrested? I know it's not like a great thing to be proud of, but... I know, I, I understand people have to go make money, but, um, you, you don't, you don't, uh, go to other people's property and ask for money. You know, it's okay, I mean, we tell people every day to get off the property, um, but we don't call the cops. I mean, this is the first time we've called the cops for someone like this, because this dude is just stubborn as a fucking rock. I told him multiple times, so, I mean, I feel bad, but at the same time, you know, at what point do you just realize, oh shit, they're serious? Like, so I guess we won't be seeing him anymore. But then he gave like the cop a fat, a false name and shit like that. Yeah, that didn't go well with him either. Um, but so, does anyone have any arrest stories where you got arrested or you've gotten someone arrested? As bad as it is, but it is what it is. So uh, it's kind of a touchy subject, but go for it. I'm going to go to work, and you guys take care, and I will see you guys on Saturday.